demographic of young people over maybe the last 30 years or so. Older demographics as they've grown up, grown up with video games as well. But One Valley Nonprofit is making it an intergenerational activity by making sure that seniors get a chance to participate. I love this idea. Nita Roman has more on how virtual reality is empowering the older generation. El Mirage Mayor Mook takes her turn at some virtual reality, a new activity at the El Mirage Senior Center she's been volunteering for for years. I'm kind of old school, so I'm not really familiar with a lot of the IT. Uh, advancements that's been made. Advancements in technology are so great that a simple video or computer game, a pair of virtual reality goggles, is helping seniors, at least the ones here, stay young and healthy longer. Oh, there's so many neurological benefits to the VR. There's training benefits to it. There's cardiac benefits. They're using it for PTSD and other phobias. They're using it for pain. David Evans is founder and CEO of My Bucket List Foundation, a small nonprofit that teaches senior citizens all about the advancements of today's world. Evans also has a heart defect, the reason why he became involved. I started going over doing chair exercise classes and bringing my Xbox because the Xbox allows a camera system so they don't need a controller. So it's a lot easier than the Wii. It was at first, it was real good, you know, and everything. But once in a while, when he go like that, I got a hold of my chair. Catalina Broiler and her husband took a ride on a virtual roller coaster. The mayor created a virtual masterpiece. The exercise program Evans uses has nearly 100 games, which he says stimulate the elderly participants into becoming active. Anita Roman, Fox 10 News. Evan says all the major health facilities around the country are conducting a thorough clinical research on the benefits of virtual reality. If you're interested in learning more, volunteering, or donating, we have more information at foxtedphoenix.com.